Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by today. Figured I hit that Daily Bits button. It's a record button. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm posting a short. I want to do something kind of goofy. I want to try to hop on these trends that people do, like the dancing trends. I thought it'd be interesting. There's this one called the Pine Grove Sh Shuffle. And if you're actually from the Ironton area, you actually know where Pine Grove is. There is a Pine Grove here in Ohio in Lawrence County. I, I didn't go to Pine Grove to film this, but I, I filmed something goofy. And I was like, man, you know what? That'd actually be kind of fun. Um, whenever I did the TikToks like back in the day, I used to like do the stupid trends. Like I always thought they was funny. Uh, something goofy, something lighthearted, uh, as long as they're not, like, s super stupid, like chewing the, uh, or eating the Tide Pod Challenge, stuff like that, um, yeah, so I, so I'm, I'm actually doing different things with the shorts, I, I, I just want to try to see how we can use the shorts to, um, help grow things, that way when people get on there, like, hey, you're not quite completely boring after all, um, cause I know, I, I know some of my stuff, like, especially the daily bits can be monotonous because, uh, there's not a whole lot that goes on in my life and I try to make it, uh, as fresh as I can. And I don't want to make it always be like, oh, woe is me. Uh, I am depressed, but, uh, this channel is a mental health channel. So, I mean, technically, yeah. Um, so I saw something today actually on the way to... Uh, I, I had to go get my eyes because I'm getting new classes, and uh, I saw a sign um, on my way through Chesapeake, and it was actually, this might be South Point, I, I don't know, um, there's a sign up there, I don't know how long it's been there, but it was a domestic violence task force sign, and I was like, that is exactly what I would love to see in this area. Um, in this area, there's a lot of problems with, you know, substance abuse, drugs, uh, domestic violence, stuff like that. And it's pretty awful. Uh, I'm sure some people in the area that watches this channel could be like, yeah, it's, he's not wrong because I'm right. As somebody that's seen that kind of stuff in my childhood in the past, um, you know, I, I, I hate for somebody else to go through it themselves. Um, it's definitely awful, definitely awful. Um, I know, I'm, I'm not sure where the task force is, and I'd like to find out more about it. But just seeing the sign out there is like, hey, somebody that's going through this right now in their lives, they could probably see that sign where like, hey, I'm going to call that number to see how, what I can do to get help. Because there's a lot of people who need help. And the bad thing about domestic violence is it's not just uh, a man against a woman. It could also be a woman against a man. It could be a child against uh, their family, stuff like that. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty awful. awful. I mean... Uh, you know, you live in your home and you can't feel safe, and that's awful. You're supposed to feel safe in your home. Um, you, you don't need to get punished or hit or smacked or punched or slapped, pushed downstairs. You don't need that. You don't need to suffer through that. And I know some people that stick with it because they feel like they can't do any better. Uh, financially, uh, they feel like, you know, if I leave, I'm going to be on the streets, so I have to stay here in this home or I'm not going to have a home. Uh, or manipulation. Manipulation is a big, big thing. Like, how many times have you heard somebody say, uh, oh, I I'll change for you. I'll, I'll be better. And two weeks later, they're back to the same thing. Um, you know, a lot of this domestic violence does stem from uh, finances as well as uh, substance abuse, like alcohol, drugs, um, you name it, whatever you can take. Um you know, I don't subscribe to the whole domestic violence thing. It pisses me off. Like, there's a lot of things that piss me off. And one of the things we talked about, the child predator thing, that's another one. Um, I do want our channel to talk about more of that stuff. Track down people that does that and kind of highlight it. Because, you know, the only way things are going to change is if we keep bringing it up. Stop putting it under the rug because um, people are getting hurt on a daily, all, all the time. All the time. People are being taken advantage of. People are being pulled from their homes and sold on the streets. And it's awful. It's awful. It's a very, very bad thing. Um, and I do want to call more attention to it as, long, uh, as well with the mental health stuff. And actually, if you think about it, the, that kind of stuff ties into the mental health thing to begin with. Because, you know, you get down into bad depression, anger, whatever. You feel like you want to... Yeah. You don't want to do that. Please don't ever do that. If if you ever 
decide to do something like that, don't don't fucking do it, please. Um, but yeah, if if you guys know of anything, any cases like this, uh, domestic violence, please reach out to me. Uh, we can get this. We can try to get the word out. Um, try to help people. I think that's our. I think that's what we're here to do. You know, not only just help people with mental health stuff, but help people with suffering, like domestic violence. And like I said, we're 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 in a community where we have these uh, jackoffs think it's okay to uh, participate in domestic violence and stuff like that. They think it's a okay as long as the cops aren't involved. And I think that's ridiculous. I think that's exactly when the cops need to be involved. Uh, these people need to be pulled out of their homes and in my opinion, give them the same damn treatment. Like, I always think eye for an eye for the most part. I know that's really brutal. I know that's um, a little much. But, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I think if you decide to beat your wife, maybe the wife should be able to beat you up. Like, I don't know, that's stupid. That's stupid. You know what I mean. They they should be they should be punished the same way they've done. But that's 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 barbaric and all that stuff. And people's gonna be like, that's that's brutal, Derek. We don't need it. It is kind of stupid now that I'm thinking about it. They do need to be punished, though, right? Except for pedophiles. Pedophiles need they they need to be gone, excommunicated. I'm becoming a monster, ain't I? <laughs> You're probably thinking this guy is violent. This guy is scary. He's no, I just, dude, I, I, I don't want somebody to get hurt. I don't want somebody, some kids to get abused. I don't want that. I don't want, you know, I don't want to see that, especially in my home. And it's always, it's so close to you all the time. Um, I'm very passionate about it because, you know, seeing that kind of stuff when I was younger is just like, it can be devastating to you. It can scar you. And, um, you know, when I see somebody doing that, like my f fight or flight mode comes in and I just want to go punch the shit out of that person for doing that to their family. Um, you know, I, I, when I was in high school, I know there was uh, some cases, there's these kid girls that were with these guys that were abusive. And, uh, you know, I'm not a fighter, but like that, absolutely made me my blood boil because I it just triggers something in me seeing things like that or hearing about it like it triggers me so bad and it's just like I don't know I don't know maybe I'm maybe I'm just overthinking it maybe I'm second guessing myself that's what I'm doing these people need to be punished for doing these bad things I'm not Batman and I'm not a cop, so I can't really do it, but I would like to get the word out and try to help people that are, try to find the resources for people to get out of these situations because um, it might seem dire right now, but there's always a way out. There always is. There always is. It might not seem like it, but there is. There's always somebody there to help you out. Um, there's people that do care. You just can't write yourself off. Um, you might be a piece of shit, but some person somewhere loves you like you know chili chili's a piece of shit but his mom probably still loves him maybe i don't know i don't know guys i'm just i'm just rambling at this point i just i don't know i had a thought in my head and i thought it was going to be smarter than it actually was and and ends up making me sound like a psychopath for the whole i and i and i thing like maybe i'm just <laughs> overthinking it it's a theory a game theory. All right, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.